Well, happy Tuesday and welcome to VA Careers Live. My name is Mike Owens and I'm the host for our weekly segment, Talk About It Tuesday. If you're tuning in for the first time, I just want to let you know that we are here every Tuesday at 12 noon Eastern time. So feel free to grab a snack, grab a drink and join us as we talk about careers here at VA. Also, whether you've tuned in for the first day or you've been with us for the last three years, we want you to be part of the broadcast. So feel free to leave any questions and comments in the comment section below. My team and I will go through those comments and questions throughout the day and throughout the week to make sure that all questions are answered and all of your comments are addressed. And also, we all know someone who wants to work here at VA, so we ask that you please share our broadcast. So you just click that share button. But before you do that, we have a hashtag that's kind of associated with it. It's hashtag work at VA. Again, hashtag work VA, work at VA. And if you're one of those people that like multiple hashtags, you can also add hashtag VA careers. So hashtag work at VA and hashtag VA careers. Click their share button and let's get this information out to as many people as possible. So before we get started into today's broadcast, I want to talk a little football. Um, we know we had the division around the division around this weekend. So uh, we have the let's see um, the 49ers and the Eagles going to the NFC championship game. And we have the Chiefs and the uh, Bengals going to the AFC. So my question of the day, you know, I like to poll you guys every uh, every week. So. Which two teams do you think are going to make it to the Super Bowl? I, me personally, I think it's going to be, I'm going to go, I was kind of waffling between the Eagles and the 49ers, but I'm going to go ahead and say the Eagles versus the Bengals. Those are the two teams that are going to make it to the Super Bowl. My my boss, my supervisor, my boss, he's a strong Kansas City Chiefs fan, so I know he's probably going to, I'm going to hear about this later, this prediction. But, uh, yeah, who do you feel is going to make it to the Super Bowl? So, Go ahead and put that in the comment section, and we're uh, I'll be excited to see those comments after the broadcast is over. So, with that being said, we have a special interview today. I have a uh, one. I have a special person that we're interviewing today. She's a coworker of mine, fellow recruiter. Um, she gets accolades about her recruitment all over VA. So I feel like on a daily basis, someone's someone sending accolades about her work and the way she's helped different facilities and program offices across VA. Um, she is a Broncos fan. So just like me being a Saints fan, her team's not in the playoffs anymore. But um, she's a, a recruiter. Um, she's a very great personality. And today we're going to be talking about careers as a recruiter. So if you have served in the military or you served in the federal government as a human resources in recruitment stay tuned she'll give you some uh insight on the day in the life of a recruiter and she'll also talk you know give some tips on how to make yourself an attractive candidate here at va so without further ado i know i've been talking i would like to introduce you to one of my great co-workers miss hillary garcia how are you hillary Hi guys, how are you? Thanks for having me today. Ah, oh, thank you for joining us. I, uh, like I said, I know we have busy schedules, so it's always a pleasure when someone takes some time out of their schedule to join us today. So I thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you, thank you. I heard some of the football talk on the side, so I <laughs> so hope for a better year next year. Okay, so <laughs> so who, what two teams do you think? What two teams are you uh, predicting to make it to the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm going to upset all my Kansas City uh, locals here. I'm in the Kansas City area, too. But I'm going to go with the Eagles and the Bengals. So I like to see okay. some teams. We don't get to see a lot, but those are my picks. Awesome, awesome. So yes. next week, we'll see who we'll, we'll actually make our actual Super Bowl winning pick. So but again, right. Hillary, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so let's get started. So Hillary, so tell us, you know, one of the things I like to ask, you know, guests that are on the show is how did they first come about working at the VA. So I'll just punt that question over to you. Sure, sure. So uh, I did go to a four-year college seeking a bachelor's degree in communications and English. And while I was there, I knew I really loved uh, speaking with people, helping people, the public. And so I always thought I would go into a public affairs type of career. And then I learned a little bit about human resources. And um, I saw an ad, a flyer up one day at my college that the local VA medical center across the street from our college was uh, seeking interns for the human resource department. And um, I'm actually... Uh, 
a third generation VA employee now. And so that was in 2004. Um, My grandfather had been a VA canteen chief. So he managed all the retail operation um, stores in several states for VA. And my mom was actually working as a a chief of environmental services at a VA medical center. Um, They had always spoke very highly of working for the government, uh, specifically working for veterans. All of my grandfathers were veterans. Um, that's how I came to live in the community I'm in from us being, you know, kind of having military in our family. And so I was uh, happy to pursue a job with VA, uh, kind of looking for the stability and the possible career growth, which is thankfully exactly what happened. Um, I got into human resources. I really loved the trainee program at the time. It's um, was called the Technical Career Field Intern Program. And uh, now very similar to many intern programs that HR offers now. So you could go into employee and labor relations or staffing and recruitment or um, recruiting. And recruiting is just something I became very passionate about. Um, And so uh, I've I've loved the growth through VA. I started kind of fresh out of my internship training program. And and now I'm a national healthcare recruiter with VA and get to help um, people find jobs at VAs all across the country. Awesome. Awesome. So if I'm not mistaken, you said you started working for VA in 2004? 2004, yes. 2004. So, <laughs> you were in elementary school at the time, Hillary. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. I was. You know, having just turned 25, I feel like that was so long ago, a long ago, right? So, <laughs> yes. Feels well, just like yesterday. It's been it's been a wonderful career. Yeah, yeah. Those are some good days, 2004. So, yes. um, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have... Uh, viewers that are watching, some of them are mm-hmm. current military recruiters, some of them may be civilian recruiters, or some of them may be recruiters in a government agency outside the military that are watching. Um, what would you say, and I know every recruiter's job is different, but what mm-hmm. would you say is, you know, the day in the life of a recruiter? What does it, you know, what would you say it's, you know, what's it like in the day in the life of a recruiter? Right. So I think as recruiters, what I see uh, the majority of our recruiter uh, team, our national recruitment team, a couple of us have come from a HR staffing VA background like myself, but the majority of them did come from a military or private hospital sector recruitment um, background in the, the communities. And so other local hospital healthcare systems, pharmaceutical industries, but military recruiters, you know, have a, a a very matched background to what we're looking for. And so the day in the life for us is all about people and uh, really putting the veteran first in everything that we think to do. And so whether we hear from a current VA employee, a physician, for example, that, you know, they um, joined and, and they thought that the setup was going to be like this, but it hasn't really been. And, and you know, they don't know if it's um, something they can do or we can help them with. You know, we help existing VA staff, once people come on and we hire them, we help candidates and applicants. Uh, We uh, are on social media to share a lot of the jobs that VA offers. So we encourage our recruiters to be very active on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, the VA, uh, each VA hospital usually has their own Facebook page. And so putting our jobs there, uh, we, we usually check candidate databases to find candidates that are good matches for jobs that we're trying to fill. a lot of people don't know that there are places you can find VA jobs advertised outside of just USA jobs. And so our jobs also flow to the Indeed website. Um, for physicians specifically, we go and find physician-specific job boards. And so if a hospital is having a really tough time finding a neurosurgeon, uh, which is likely, then we go out to sites where our VA um, can post our jobs and hopefully spread the word that we're looking for a neurosurgeon in that town you know, come work for us. This is all the great, you know, aspects of working for us. And then we post those jobs there. So, so communication with people, with candidates, with current VA employees um, is a, probably the number one great aspect of our job. And so I think obviously being um, comfortable, being a people person, having good negotiation skills, uh, being able to transition from talking to a physician to a hospital medical director, um, hiring manager, a candidate. Those are things we do all day. Um, So we're on our phones and computers quite a bit. We also go out and do national uh, job fair exhibiting for VA. So we go to societies for specific kinds of physicians or nurses, 
uh, pharmacists and, and we uh, exhibit there and try to recruit candidates to come work for us as well. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I apologize for my computer making all those noises during your answer. Um, but um, one of the things you, uh, you you mentioned to our audience that you you recruit for doctors and yeah. just a moment, just a quick moment of transparency here. I, for some way, I always butcher the word physician. I don't know why. <laughs> I just can't say. So if I say doctor, don't please don't don't crucify me. But yes. uh, you recruit for medical doctors here at the VA. So yes. I know we may have some uh, aspiring doctors and we may have some physicians that are watching now. Um, yes. What what would you tell those physicians or future physicians? What you know, what makes the VA a great place to work for doctors? Right. So the number one thing I talk to them about is the, the patient you get to care for. And so I really feel like uh, you can work for a lot of federal agencies, but really we have the best mission. I know I'm biased on that, but we get to care for and serve veterans. And so it's a very deserving patient, a very thankful um individual usually that they're encountering and um, people that have really signed up, as they say, to put their lives on the line for our country. And so uh, I believe that our, our physicians usually come in uh, knowing and loving a veteran in their own personal lives, and they translate that very well to bringing that passion into care for our patients. And so I think, um, you know, having that very, very um, endearing population that we get to work with is something I talk to physicians about, especially and in a way that they can give back to um, their country. Um, I think VA puts a lot of focus on patient care. Um, we do not focus on um, dollars. We do not focus as far as, you know, private sectors that might be trying to see as many patients as they can in a day because they're a profit-based system. And right. so our, our physicians say that they come here and love the ability to spend more time caring for patients, following them through that specialty clinic if they leave primary care, for example, or getting them in touch with dietitians and, and maybe hearing about a journey with a social worker. And so I think that the, uh, the limits there are just um, so high on things that physicians can do. They can come in as a staff physician and work themselves up to a regional medical center director. Uh, they can, you know, become the undersecretary for health of the VA. And so uh, the, there is a high, high um, trajectory there for individuals that are looking to move up. Awesome. Awesome. So um, last week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we had the broadcast was application 101, just given basic mm -hmm. um just giving basic advice on how to make your application stellar uh, when you're right. applying for a job here at VA. So now that we have you, um, what traits do you think uh, VA candidates uh, should possess? Sure. I think uh, absolutely customer service and, and customer service seems so generic when you say it, but really embodying what it means to be someone who is customer service focused. And so whether you have a veteran in front of you or a coworker in front of you, um, you have integrity and, and care. And at VA, we talk a lot about eye care and, and embodying those characteristics of being just able to take on a problem, able to, um, to try to come come out with the best solution you possibly can when you're engaging with candidates, when you're trying to find a doctor for a rural you know, VA clinic where maybe they had someone retire and it's taken them a year to find someone. I mean, we will not stop until we find someone for that clinic. Uh, we want to help the the employees that work there, and uh, you know, take a little bit of a load off of their current load. And we want to help candidates, um, you know, find that great fit and maybe coming home to a rural community they, they desire to move back to. But uh, really just doing everything and anything we can to get great uh, caregivers at the VA to care for our veteran patients. And so I think you have to have that tenacity about you as a VA employee that um, this is why you're here. Uh, you have a smile on your face. You're willing to work through problems and and really help um, create the best outcome possible for, for our veteran patients. Awesome. Thank you for that uh, information. I'm sure our candidates, are, they really love it and everything. Um, so another question I have is... Um, and we get this question a lot from our audience is what what is the best way to get in touch with a recruiter here at VA? Yes. So uh, you can 
as simple as pulling up your Google or Bing or whatever you're using for your search and type in find a VA recruiter. Um, it will take you to the VA careers.va.gov site where it's a landing page where if you are um, a nurse, maybe you have a background in psychiatry, a social worker, if you're looking for um, business related careers, all the way through to, you know, working at VA as an engineer or a, a housekeeping aide. Um, there are different contact links and phone numbers that will help you get connected with a recruiter. You can email us directly. Um, I always tell candidates as well, if you have a resume saved on USA Jobs, make sure you click that that is searchable because as recruiters, we do have the ability to go into USA Jobs and search for candidates that are in the back end of that staffing side of the system. Uh, we can look if you have, you know, if maybe you're nearby and you, you didn't even know there was a position available at the local medical center that we're able to consider candidates for. And so we're able to search for candidates in that system. Um, you can also set up a search alert so that if jobs open that match the criteria that you're looking for um, via some keywords. So maybe you type in uh, nurse in Augusta, Georgia, um, you know, then you can have the system email you weekly to tell you when jobs open that match that criteria in case you miss applying for one that's opened if you were, you know, not not watching that closely. So those are, are tips to help you really stay connected. Um, also, you know, going to your local facility web page. So every VA facility has a web page. If you're by Kansas City VA, for example, there's a jobs tab and usually a phone number for the local HR office, nurse recruiter or recruiters are there. So pick up the phone and, and give them a call, talk through some of your career goals and get connected, especially if you have special uh, hiring preferences like Schedule A hiring authority, or if you are a veteran with um, you know, non-competitive or direct hire capabilities, then you can get connected directly with the recruiter and find out if there are jobs open that might match what you're looking for. Awesome. Awesome. So my final question of the day, um, one of my favorites is, you know, in your almost 19 year career at VA, what would you say is your favorite thing about working for the VA? Oh, I absolutely love our team and I love uh, just the the honor of getting to do what we do every day. And so I think um, being a recruiter and, and it's kind of, you know, the, the challenge of finding that great candidate that meets what the hiring official is looking for. Um, so somebody with a special skill set or, as I mentioned before, a, a doctor for a clinic that has been vacant and having a hard time, you know, seeing individuals, um, something remote or rural, when you find a candidate that is that perfect match or fit and um, what they bring to the table there, um, the level of skill and care that they then are there to provide for our veterans is has been so fulfilling. I think that uh, that is probably one of the um, more fun aspects of, of getting to be a recruiter is, is filling those much needed career uh, opportunities at the VA healthcare system. We know it will in turn help bring care for our veterans in it. And anytime we can do that is, is exactly why we're here. Awesome. Awesome. So um, if you just tuned in or you tuned in halfway through the broadcast today, I was today I'm interviewing one of my uh, awesome coworkers, Ms. Hillary Garcia. She works as a physician or doctor recruiter uh, here at um, a national physician recruiter here uh, at VA. Um, and you can always go back and catch this interview on our LinkedIn page, uh, Department of Veterans Affairs LinkedIn page, if you didn't catch the whole thing. But before we leave, of, of course, I want to thank you, Hillary, for taking the time out today to join us today. We are really appreciated here. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So, um, what, again, as I as I mentioned in the beginning of the broadcast, is that uh, I want to know your Super Bowl predictions. Well, who you, what team, two teams you're going to make it to the Super Bowl? Hillary and I agree that uh, we're thinking it's going to be yes. the Eagles versus the Bengals. Yes. Um, so if you have a Super Bowl prediction, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. If you have any questions that you'd like Hillary to answer or our team to answer, uh, make sure you put those in the comment section also. Um, so with that, it's now 1225 and we enjoy being here on a weekly basis. We enjoy you watching us today and we will see you on next Tuesday. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys.